All right, my name is Scott, and I am a naturalist here at Schmeekley Reserve, and today we're going to be learning about Indian pipes. Now, this organism here looks like it might actually be a fungus because it's very white, but it is not. It is actually a plant in the family called Monotropa euthora, uniflora, sorry. And it is a plant that is closely related to blueberries. It is a parasitic plant and does not have any chlorophyll. That is why it's white and can be considered a, similar to a fungus. What it does is if you have a green tree over here with its roots, those roots might be partnering with some mycorrhizae fungi to get some of its nutrients. And right here, this blue plant is going to be the Indian pipes that are going to steal nutrients from the tree so it can grow without using photosynthesis. We go back to this tree, you can see it is pretty small, only typically 2 inches to 12 inches long, and it grows in dense or like wet forested areas, typically of oaks and pines. So if you're looking around Schmeekly, going to the oak woodlots and looking for some areas where you might not get a lot of sunlight. As I said, this one, this plant doesn't need chlorophyll, so it's not going to photosynthesize. So we'll just go through and start growing and that it can keep getting its energy from other plants. Uh, this plant is pretty unique in that it steals nutrients from other plants, and it'll start growing in this area around late May, early June, and start blooming in September. Another thing that's unique about this plant is when it flowers, you can tell right here this is a plant that hasn't flowered yet, and when it's fertilized, it'll start turning pink. So we don't have a fertilized plant yet. You see it in this like ghostly looking plant. So this plant also has a little bit of cultural history tied to it. And in the Cherokee tribe, they believed that this plant would grow when a Native American would clean out their peace pipe, which would typically be something that happened after two tribes would be warring or fighting and they came to a troop, a troops. So they would clean out their peace pipe and then this plant would grow in a place that it was found. It also kind of looks like a peace pipe. So that is kind of how it originated with its name of the Indian.